Hello, my name is Sasha, and I'm the founder of Nucleus Coffee Tools. I'm so excited to talk to all of you about aroma volatile compounds. See, when we drink coffee and we can taste jasmine notes, as an example, we're not tasting jasmine, we're actually tasting aroma volatile compound or combination of aroma volatile compounds that actually reminds us of jasmine. I've been lucky enough to do scientific research with Coffee Excellence Center in Switzerland and we found that there is between 80 to 120 different aroma volatile compounds depending on the process and the fermentation. But we've also found that majority of these aroma volatile compounds are actually below threshold. So what that means that we cannot taste them and detect them. But there's only few aroma volatiles that are above the threshold the way we currently brew, we can smell them and taste them. Now, how do we encourage these aroma volatiles? Well, they encourage on a farm level, how we roast coffee and also how we brew coffee. Now, when we talk about brewing, the most important part here is the temperature. The hotter temperature we have, the more access we have to get more aroma volatile compounds. In my next video, I'm going to share the studies we have done with Professor Chahan and Coffee Excellence Center and how we found the research and the techniques to capture more aroma volatile compounds in your beverage. Looking forward to talking to you soon. Bye.